So hi all to the second part of the series. This time we will have our first job. Yeah, job means it's the series for a tool pass. So more uh, than one tool pass and you can have more than one job for the part. So let's do it. I open up here FreeCAD. It's 0 0.17. And for a job we need a part. I just make one here, a simple one, because it's very easy. Let's get new, say body on the plane XY, so it's G17. Let's simply do a, a square and escape now, mark those two points get it straight and get the uh, I would say 50 by 50 millimeters here yeah, let's say equal and we are done for this thing so let's get a block of this oh let's do it five millimeters and straight down so to see where our zero is you better have your axis here enabled so you see your right the zero is on and I will do this off with two on the number plate you have the top view and you will know how to rotate it so this is our part and let's go to the pass where we should be for doing some milling and now here you see the icons are not enabled only one this gets you the operation and the job it asks for the body where to go on I use there's only one button and now it generates here uh, offset the bounding box where the material will be I will just rough this plate here and say one millimeter above so I will rough this down. External body bound. Okay. <coughs> if you have, if it disappears, just double click on the item here on models. The output modal. This will be if you if you keep there, you will see what you can do. On the what options you got for your post processor and this is the options I will say the setup the tools I have a default tool inside and you can edit a lot of tools like you want to so here's our chop here's our stock here's the base and now let's do first one operation I just hit the face and I will say here face milling now get the depths start depth let's go by one millimeter above final depth will be zero finish depth zero and one millimeter down so the heights this is the clearance safety height and the clearance height I leave that the operation we use the default tool we go the permitter uh, is for is the bounding it's not a bounding box oh, it's the bounding box of the part itself but you can go here a uh, bound box so it takes the material climb is the direction conventional or climb zigzag mode or spiral let's say we go spiral and we have the offset let's go 25 or 30 percent okay and we have we will see our first geek code here it's up there let's go to zigzag mode and it's now 45 degrees I like to have the zero one direction and for the tool double click on the tool it's tool number one let's go 400 it will calculate it now in a millimeter per second uh, but it, it's in the geek code it will see you will see the, the real numbers 200 or 2000 
and the tool is 5 mm let's give it a 10 and the cutting edge high 15 millimeters. You can set this as default or load here up a tool table as seen in other tutorial here. As you see it gets you a tool pass, it's not perfect. So let's do some offset more here. Let's use the bounding box, see what we get. The same offset 15 10% and uh, oh, that's not good enough it should run over as I said we are in development and we will do this for you we will get a good a good data on it clear inside fine step uh, safety overrun there should be an overrun here start that boundary box false option final active two comments there's no extra offset let's do extra offset inside give it five millimeter and say it's okay so now it's it runs through the offset uh, I had here 10 percent so let's go 40 so you see it will run through the system but we have to do here uh, one more finish we will do that you can start at center or on the edge let's do it that way okay and the gear code comes out here with the base no okay just mark it you can mark the job or the or the operation and give it a gear code first thing you see and get it out and you see here it's just a simple decode as you expected here to see only the standard numbers you gave it and no other commands clear decode so see you by the next tutorial we declare all those things but oh one more you can simulate the system it's the second button here and you can run a simulation of it so see you next time if you have any questions just ask on the youtube channel or on the irc it's the free cat uh, irc channel on the free node server or you can also ask on linux cnc